Welcome back to She's in Her Apron. So it is Saturday and we've had a very busy day today. We started the morning off in the yard doing a lot of yard work. So I went to a baptism for my friend's son and then came back and filmed a Motivational Monday video for you. And then now dad's getting ready for his guy night. So dad is heating up some smoked pulled pork he got from Costco. He's doing a salad at Cinco de Mayo, so he's working on something for guys' night. May the force be with you. That was yesterday. <laughs> All right, look at these beautiful lilacs from our trees. I think I gorgeous. It. They smell so good. Those smell good. Hello, friends. So tonight for dinner, I'm gonna make country style ribs in my Instant Pot. This is a new recipe I'm trying off of Pinterest. So you could say this is a pinned it and did it. So let's start making it. I have about three pounds of country style ribs in there. We're going to add three fourths cup beef broth. All the seasonings I'm adding in, I'm pretty much adding a teaspoon in. So we have paprika, cumin. I should probably mix these together. I love how I have the afterthought, you know, after. So I'm gonna combine in a bowl the salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. Should have done that with all of them. But oh well. Oh, so the cayenne pepper was like a fourth a teaspoon. I put a half, so this is gonna be spicy. Put in a half a cup of your favorite barbecue sauce. That rub, you're supposed to like rub all over both sides and then put it in. I'm throwing dinner together. So I'm putting the lid on. It's gonna cook on high pressure for 45 minutes and natural release for 15 to 20. So I'll see you when this is done. There it is. I'm gonna take it out, put a little bit more barbecue sauce on. Um, yeah, we are just gonna serve it up with veggies. And uh, that is dinner. I'm so tired, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm done with today. But uh, let's let's just take one out and see how it fares, shall we? Oh, look how it just falls apart. I can't even pick it up. Mmm. Oh yeah. Ooh, they're a little spicy too. You're spicy, Derek. This is good. It's good. Spicy. I put a lot of cayenne in it though. Wow, look how they just fall apart. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I put a little too much cayenne, but that's okay. We'll put some nice cooling barbecue sauce on it and it'll be good. Oh, it's so good. So there you go, guys. Cut your style ribs in the Instapot. This is what we're doing tonight. This room is getting the carpet shampooed. He's working on it right now, so we moved everything out so this carpet could get cleaned. And I hope that this will be the last time we get the carpet clean because we want to put one floor all up here and eventually downstairs. Okay, it is Monday morning and the carpet cleaning folks are on their way and I'm excited for them to get this mark out of my carpet. Do you guys know those like meltable witches or snowmen that you can get during the holidays? It's like this clay but it slowly like oozes. Yeah! Kids dropped it on the carpet and it's horrible so I'm excited for them to come and get that out. So um, and also I cleared out this room. I'm gonna have them do the hallway and then into Shaylee's room because this used to be the office. So I mainly want this room done, um, but no matter what they do, it's gonna cost $100. So I'm not sure how much <laughs> that stain is going to be out. So we're gonna have them do Shaylee's room and hopefully 
no matter what, that will be $100. So they do an excellent job. I use these guys all the time. So here's the before. Oh, one day, you guys, I'm hoping soon we'll have wood floor in here. I'm so sick of this tile and carpet. This is what the homeowners put in that built the home. And we hate it because it just cuts off the kitchen. We could move the table out a little further, but it just doesn't work because of the carpet. So having all wood in here will just make an awesome flow to the house. So I'm crossing my fingers. Yes, I look like this. I got powder on my nose some baby powder in Shaylee's room. Looks like I've been doing a little something. <laughs> So I'm going to be working on um, just cleaning up the kitchen while they're here and then um, go downstairs and finish working on the invitations. Callie just got her sent out today to all her friends. She's going to pass them out. Now I'm just going to have to take my rag that I was using and swipe across all the ones I need to mail out the sticky stuff so we don't have to lick them and get them to the mailbox. So yes, those are going out today. So yeah. Do you like my glasses, guys? They're new from Costco. Sorry, no makeup. But yeah, they're awesome. I got the screen protector, like, you kind of see a purple tint to protect my eyes being on the computer and stuff. I also got prescription sunglasses that I'm loving. Do I have them on me? And these are my prescription sunglasses. So when I'm out with the kids swimming, I don't need to wear my contacts. I could just wear these. Um, all glasses look big on me. I have a small head. I don't care. I like them. They feel good. Um, yeah, got them at Costco, guys. Check out Costco. Oh, and I got contacts there as well. I forgot to pick them up when I went. So the next time I go in, I need to grab them. But though that's my new eyewear. I'm excited. I would love to have surgery one day, but I'm super, like, scared of that. So those are them. You guys, I just put on my makeup as fast as I could because I'm like, I can't have another time when people came over to my house and I look like crap. So, but I got a line here for my glasses, but I'm out of concealer. I got to go get more. I got no sleep last night, you guys. I went to bed at four working on a video for you. I kept falling asleep at the computer. I didn't blend very well, but um, I'm dark under my eyes, so. Oh, man. All right. Not too bad for a quick, quick, quick. Phew. <laughs> okay, they are here. They're getting their gear to come inside, so I'm just looking at my schedule. I planned for nothing today other than the carpet people. So, whew, Callie's got carpool, so nice. But this is the rest of my week. Not too bad, but it's going to get filled in with to-dos to get ready for graduation. The other thing I'm going to do today is to make a, another master to-do list. I have one here. Um, that I shared with you guys on my motivational toolkit and a lot of them still apply but I'm gonna make a new one a lot of them it's crossed out that way I could have it on the refrigerator I could stay focused I can cross things out because I'm very overwhelmed as you guys know Callie is graduating from high school but she's also graduating from a college um, M Tech and so she is getting her degree in um, or certificate her certification in dental assisting so we have two graduations and I'm um, trying to figure out her dinner for that um, for that night that's a different night so yeah lots to do so lists make lists it's gonna help me with my anxiety right now for sure My goodness you guys they always do such a good job oh I've been using them for years I've been so happy I think I shared them with you a while ago but look no black mark can't even find where it was that came right out they did such a good job he said that with the breeze and the fan that I have on that this could be dried by tonight we'll play it by ear and then we'll bring everything back in but this feels so good so if any of you live in Utah here's their information seriously I've been using them for years I've always been happy 
they've really done a good job and and we're we beat up our carpets and they do so good this is not sponsored I just love them to death so if you're in Utah give them a call they're seriously so good look at all these announcements you would think she was getting married or something holy cow so exciting so they're gonna hit the post office today and let the party and fun times begin not all these are coming to a party a lot of these are out of state and family so but I'm excited for them to get them so that is done yay you guys yay well I just got done at the post office they're sent out well that is that those are sent out oh my goodness I usually take off my glasses when I talk to you guys even my old ones especially these ones because there's a glare but look these leave such a mark on my nose and the video that I just filmed that's going up or did go up on Wednesday there's a slight mark can't help it though these glasses do that I gotta go to Costco and pick up my contacts oh, I would love to do that right now but no no so I do need to do that but my stomach isn't feeling good you guys I've been such a stress case I've been saying that my stomach hasn't been feeling good for a while it just has it and now I'm just sitting in my warm car and I just want to take a nap that 4 a.m. going to bed is definitely catching up to me so I'm deciding what I want to do for dinner um, I'm trying to do the shelf cooking that the challenge that my friend Jordan Page put out do you guys follow Jordan from, from cheaperfree.com um, right now she's doing a shelf cooking challenge that is to use what you already have in your home and your pantry um, and then like set a budget for each week of this month for spending have it be way low than what you usually do um, sometimes like $25 a week $50 a week but um, and so I've been trying to do shelf cooking and use what I have but it's been very hard when I've been stressed out I'm like screw it they will go buy something but so right now tonight I feel like saying screw it but I know there's so much I can make so much I can make tonight in my home so I'm gonna pass on buying anything and I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna throw something together because there's plenty of food in that house plenty I'm excited for when my mom comes mom could you please help take over some cooking? Because I'm exhausted. I just don't feel like doing it anymore. I would appreciate it so much. My mom is a good cook. So, yeah, the cooking is all yours. <laughs> Happy vacation. <laughs> Trying to think while I'm out. Is there anything? Oh, Jonah's prescription. Okay, let's go to Smith's. Get Jonah's prescription and head home and do some shelf cooking. Oh, and if you want to learn about shelf cooking, uh, click on the link below because that's awesome. It The concept is awesome, especially when you want to save some money in, in the month. It's amazing where our money goes. I know a lot of our money goes to like fast food and stuff. It's amazing how that just racks up. So hey, give the challenge a shot for the month of May. That is awesome. So I just got Jonah's prescription, but I got a little distracted by the candy here. Uh, of course, I love my peanut M&Ms. I love peanut butter. I'm not a fan of the caramel. I knew there was mint, but I don't know if I like them or not. But what is this? Raspberry? Have you guys had this? That just seems a little, a little weird to me. Crunchy raspberry. I don't know. Oh, and and espresso. Oh, I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts? <laughs> I do love me a good peanut M&M though. Oh yeah. Okay, I am making tater tot casserole because I have everything in my pantry to make this. So I have two pounds of ground beef that I'm browning up with some onion, green peppers, celery some garlic and we're gonna brown this up and then I'll drain it and then I'll show you what I do next well I haven't made this in a long time so I don't know if I double the canned stuff but I'm gonna need a can of evaporated milk mushroom and celery um, a lot of people will use mushroom soup and cream of chicken but I don't like cream of chicken so I don't know if I need to double this or not but we'll see how it looks and if I need to I will Okay, in a casserole pan, I put all the hamburger and everything in. I combined all those cans, 
Mix them together, put a layer on top. Okay, in my very full freezer, I have a bag of tater tots. Okay, just added the tater tots. Now I'm gonna put the rest of the mixture on top with some seasoned salt. Okay, that's in a 350 degree oven for one hour. It's Oh, there you have it. Some people add cheese. I just haven't done that, but it's so good. So add all like your leftover veggies. It's a good casserole to dump all the rest of them in. And that's dinner tonight. Thank goodness we're doing some shelves. Yeah, there's some food we gotta do.